Hi guys, my name is Rachel Beth, and in this video I'm going to showing you how to make these super simple matchy Mickey mini stockings, so I hope you enjoy! Bye! So for this video, you're going to need some red and black fleece, some felt, some white fluffy fabric and ribbon of your choice. So to start off, you're going to draw your stocking pattern, so literally just draw a stocking shape. And to be a bit more festive, I decided to put it on some wrapping paper as well. So once you have that cut out, you can place it on your red fabric. So I did it folded over, so I'm doing two at once. And then you're just going to cut around that, leaving a seam allowance if you haven't left it in your pattern. Then once you have that cut out, you can put it right sides together and just sew around the edges, leaving the top open. Once you've done that, you can just snip very carefully around all the curved edges. So you want to make sure not to go too close to the stitches and then you can trim off any bulky excess fabric that you think you have. So this will just allow it to lie more smoothly when you put it right side out. And you're going to repeat this for a second one as well. So next you're going to get your white fluffy fabric and you're just going to lay your stocking over it and then fold it over to make sure you have enough to go around the top leaving about a half inch seam on the side. And because mine was very fluffy I decided to overlock mine if you don't have an overlocker you can zigzag stitch it if you want or just hem it. So once I had it overlocked I laid it over my stocking right sides together and just marked where I could sew down so it matched up with the width of the stocking and then I sewed that down. So once I've done that I'm going to place the fluffy bit inside the stocking the right side of the fluffy bit to the wrong side of the stocking and then I just place a little bit of ribbon on the side as well so that's going to be going in between the two And then you're just going to sew along the edge, making sure to get both the white bit and the red bit in it. Then you can unfold the white, and then I just hand stitch around the bottom, just because I didn't want to be able to see the overlocking stitches. But you can just machine sew this if you want, I just hand sewed it so you couldn't see. And then you're going to repeat all that for a second one again. So if you don't want to make your stocking from scratch, you can just get a stocking from a shop and just add the extra bits onto it. So for the Mickey Mouse bit, I just drew a little Mickey Mouse hat shape and just cut that out on black fleece. So you can do this with felt either, I just wanted the fleece part on it. And again, you're going to leave a seam allowance and then you're going to place them right sides together and just sew around, leaving the bottom bit open. And again, once you have that sewn, you're going to trim around all the curved bits like we did before and turn it right side out and then I stuffed mine a bit. So then what you're going to do, you're going to turn your stocking inside out and you're going to place the Mickey Mouse head just along the white bit and then you're going to sew it down. So when you're sewing you're going to want to make sure that there's no other layer of fabric underneath. You want to make sure you're just sewing onto the red bit because you don't want to be able to see it on the white. So then you're going to want to add the features. So for Minnie Mouse I cut out white circles in felt and I just glued them on with a hot glue gun. You can sew them on or use fabric glue, whatever you want. The glue gun was just convenient for me. And then for the Mickey Mouse I just cut two white circles out and I just placed them to look like his buttons. And that was all I did for the Mickey Mouse one. Then for the Minnie Mouse using red felt I cut out a small rectangle and then a small strip of red felt. And then I pinched the middle of the rectangle to create a bow shape and wrap the strip around it. Then I just sewed the strip in place and sewed it onto the stocking itself. You can glue these on if you want, I just ran out of glue so I sewed it. And then once you have them done, that is your stockings finished. So I think they're really cute and they look really nice on a mantelpiece next to each other because they're matching. So if you do like this video, please like, share and subscribe. And if you get a go, tag me on Instagram or Twitter so I can see. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.